there. Yeah, he was pretty far ahead. All he needed to do was not blow it. Yeah, and all he had to do to not blow it was block. I mean, A, he could have left one more all blocker back to save all, yeah, Slimefoot. All, all he had to do was read what your cards do, right? Or he could have, I mean, but he had a lot of ways to do it, right? When he when he chose to make those the blocks as he did, um, he could have, uh, he could have, instead of letting, instead of sacrificing Slimefoot, he could have let Slimefoot die, uh, which would have killed one of our blockers, the 4-2, and sacrificed the token uh, instead for that little bit of damage and then kept swinging. I know he, I know that it removes one of no, his attackers, it was, but it's it still... It would, have, it would have put him at one more life, but it would have been the same amount of damage either way, right? Because the sapling has one damage and one damage from the burn. Yeah, but I, don't, I think there is there is something Another else in there irrelevant. I can't remember what it was now. Thank you, Shadow Row. Welcome to the channel. Much appreciated. The subbing. Um, yeah, that was very close. Like, that place, the certain outs better slightly, but... All right, let's take a look what comes up next. Ah, that that one had. I was pretty close to conceding there. Yeah, his his attack there with the extra creature because you refuse to read your cards was really bad. What do you think of this hand? Should we keep this one? I don't think we can keep this one. We got massively mana screwed in that last game too. Yeah, we were. Sure, you don't want to keep this. We could just a draw Verdant Force, and go on turn eight. Yeah, turn eight for now. I don't think that's gonna be good enough. Okay. How about four lands instead? That looks much. Better. Better. We have we have a creature that we can cast on three. Yeah. Okay. The opponent Mulligan it doesn't look like it. No, he's at seven. You want to know the odds? We can tell you the odds. Let's do odds. So we want odds of number of cards in deck. There are thirty-three. Uh, there's forty cards in deck. We need to. There's seventeen cards that can be lands. Number of draws is seven. And we need to have number of successes needed seven. Uh, there's a 0.1% chance of drawing seven lands. Is that right? Did I do those? Did I put all the entries into that right? Odds that of drawing seven or right. more seven or more of seventeen cards from seven draws in a forty card deck. Yes, that is right. It's 0.1%. Oh, okay, in, in, a, in a row. Okay, yeah, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Yep. So the odds of that hand were just. Uh, 0.1 percent all right let's get that memorial out there and let's, let's do it up i don't know what your insistence is with playing untapped lands on turn one i'm, I'm messing with the bot so it's all right we're just not going to have our five drop when we need it so i just did it again here when i still could have uh, protected ourselves yeah, like we're just we're just gonna not be able to do anything on turn four and we're gonna lose because of it yep i agree why not memorial because i'm talking with you chat I'm playing like shit. Are we chumping this thing? It tramples. We can't chump it. Do we just want the ramp two. then? Yeah, we just want to ramp to our spider. Yep. So we can never block that, so. Yep. Sure. Feels bad. He's gonna fucking kill us. Yeah, probably. <sighs> okay, I mean, I guess we're in on Mammoth Spider. Yeah. Then our only out is another Yavamai Shepherd, which we have two of, but we can't cast both of them next turn because we never played the Memorial. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't think we have an out anymore. We'll see. There's no outs. Okay, it's dead. Any point showing him our deck? I guess we can Ancient Animus, but that doesn't do enough. Nope. So we... I mean, we're not just... Uh, yeah, no, we are. Equips the go if he equips the Goblin, I think we're... No. No, we're not just dead. We're, we're just at four health. All he has dead. to do is equip the Confessor. Both creatures have Menace. We have four creatures. Oh, right, but three. Oh, you're going to try to double block? 
Yeah. You have four cool. creatures. All right. Well, let's see what and happens. Showing him that showing him that we have a sapper isn't really a huge deal. We I mean, were probably dead, but we're not just dead. Well, seems like we're just dead. Oh yeah, that gets that's equipment too, huh? And it's trample. In first strike, yeah. I think we're totally boned by that thing. Yeah. Okay, he saw it. Maybe he won't attack. Who knows? It's possible. So we have to soak five damage from that. So. That guy's protector was the plus two plus two fan. We were maybe still in it. All right, so let's look at what we have to do. We have to absorb five off that, or we're dead. We have to kill. We have to double. Oh, we're dead. No, we. I guess we have to double block this with. Uh, so this is the most absorption there. Yeah, those two block there. It takes the seven of the two. Two go through. Those two block on the. Those no, we have two, to. Oh, two goes through there. Yeah. Seven so. And then three is two. What's we can take the okay, one from so there. Yeah, we have to uh, gang block the goblin. Well, we could do it this way. So this takes, okay, that puts three through, puts us at one. Oh, we can't block that. It has to be this way. No choice then. Yeah. Okay. We have to gang, block, gang the block the goblin. And then we have and to play four defenders on this on, next turn. Uh, yeah, we have to we put the plus one, plus one counter on the Marwin, or on the sapling token. Yeah, on the sapling token. You put the Marwin in order first, so we put the plus one. Doesn't he get to change again, though? No, he doesn't. That's not how ordering works. How did you see him? Sapperling. How did you see him do that? Because it's the one on the right is the first one in order. No, it was you put it in the. It's the one from the left. Okay, I did it in the wrong order. Oh yeah, we're dead. I mean, we're dead anyways. It's not a yeah, goddamn I mean, thing. Dead anyway. It's just like should have a two-two on the board, not a, a one-one though. Kill flame, kill the flame. How, how are we gonna works. kill the flame, guys? What? Just kill the flame, easy. What magic world? All right, that seems like that's coming in. Yeah, that seems like a real good one. Uh, I think Pierce the Sky is going out, black red. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, do we want a second trick just to try to fucking slow? One mana trick to slow him down seems massively relevant to me. Yeah, I'm making two for us out of our land and we're scouts. Seems pretty good. Yeah. So what, we'd be cutting like a Gaius Protector probably or the Sentinel. Guy's protected a sentinel. Uh, yeah, I cut the sentinel and be pretty happy about it. All right. So he's got blown out by Rak Rakdos. Yeah, I mean he just yeah. had to draw, right? So. Yeah. He go first there too. To he did, a, right? Yeah. yeah. It's pretty hard to beat a turn three, five, four trample menace. So. Who knew? Yeah, especially without an instant. Especially removal. when you're mono green, right? Yeah, we had we had animus. <sighs> All right, I guess. It's such a bad hand, but I, yeah, whatever. but whatever. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. If Already went to out. six. That helps. Down to five. Went to five. That helps a lot. Okay. Go to four, buddy. Go to four. Down to four. Yeah. Go to three. Let's go. Go to three. Just concede. Come on, go to three. Kept one on top. He just right, conceded. He okay. All right. It's good. It's good. Game for that us. Helps. Yep. Chat's gonna lose it in a second. Yep. Okay. Um. Just what we did. Seems fine. Yeah. Same deck. All right. He's on the play this time. Yeah. Maybe he'll do that again. He just, no, he just wanted to be on the play so he could kill us real quick. Yeah, kill us faster. That can be true. Yeah, He's like, my deck's so good. Yeah. Just trying to save time, right? Yeah, we did just get nothing. No information about his deck for sure. Seems fine. I'll just play this yeah, one first. How do you feel about that? Yeah. That seems like a really good idea. Sure, you don't, you don't want me to play the Taplands like fifth? No. So no mulligans here from anyone. 
Let's get that ooze going. I don't know. I'm going to, but I hate showing it to him. Oh, oh I thought. Oh, we don't have a big dude in his hand. Oh, it was the last game. I'm like, don't we have something? We're getting all this land. That's a big dude. Yeah, that's a big dude. All right, let's I swing the island here. Also, what's the thought process? The, because if we draw the Tat Yova next turn, we can. Uh, yeah, get a land. No, we can't. It's the land the turn after. Oh, the right? turn after that. Yeah. It's still okay. Well, regardless, you might as well just do it now. That's pretty uh, fortunate. It's a five drop. Yep. Let's attack with the ooze first and see if he blocks. He's insane in the membrane. Yeah, he's not crazy. All right, let's fair five five. Game looks like it's gonna just be a straight up race here. Oh, well, we got good racing cards right now. Depends what else he's got sitting around in his hand. Yeah, he's got his candle next turn. It's five minus five minus five until end of turn, right? Yeah. He doesn't necessarily have the land. We're playing the worm. We're not playing around him drawing a land for the candle next turn. But he's probably just killing us anyway. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it turns out two mana removal is really good here. Oh, come come on with this bullshit. <laughs> okay, I guess we lose. No, I, I guess. All right, let's play our worm, I guess. Yeah, it's our only play, so we might as well fucking take it. I don't think we can attack. I think we have, we to, have to attack. Block. What? You think we gang block this? I just don't think he attacks. I, I, I mean, then he doesn't attack and we're super happy about it. I just figure it's a race here. You think? You don't I mean, think it's a race we win? Extra, I, getting in the extra two, I don't think matters that much. Now he's got fucking his thing. So I'm rip ooze. Gonna kill our ooze anyway. Maybe not. Uh, we still gang block if that happens. And yeah, we just don't no, kill. If he, if, he, if he lets us attack, we're gang blocking 100%. Are we? Is it the very least? We, yeah, we kill his frenzy thing at the very least, right? Yeah, we but we lose. We but block. it's minus five, minus five. Do we yeah. really want to spend the entire turn losing two creatures for the candle plus the frenzy thing with no ability to trade for the shade? Like, we, we're just drawing dead versus the shade out now. I mean, we're just drawing dead versus the shade right now, right? No, we like, aren't, because he can't kill the worm. We can race him now. So we put him, we it put him to nine, and we're going to what? We're taking eight, so we go to six, and he threatens lethal next turn. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess we could try and race him. I don't see us winning the game either way, but no, I don't see us winning the game either way. So I'd rather, I'd rather this. Ha <laughs> ha, fuck you. All right, your cards are Cast Down, uh, Goblin Commander, okay, Dreadshade. You, you can just concede now, Filthy. We lose. This fucking guy. How the hell is he in this bracket? I don't know, man. I mean, we play Atlanta or else. And then yeah. I guess we memorial the unity. I don't know. I want to leave mana up for armaments. We still have mana for armaments. That's so relevant, but not now. <laughs> it would have. Yeah. If we had drawn that, nope. maybe. If he hadn't drawn the Siege Gang, maybe that was relevant. Maybe. We can't. I mean, he just takes the damage. There's no swinging. No, we can't. No, he just blocks. Chumps blocks with the Goblin token. Or takes it. Yeah. I mean, we're dead either way, so. Some way he loses this game that I'm not aware of? No. 
There's literally no way he can lose this game, so... Alright. He's gonna let us declare blockers, which means the shade is gonna be blocked this turn. Yeah, I mean, we're dead no matter how we block, right? So... He's only got... No, we're not. Why do you say that? Because he can throw goblins at our face. Oh, it's because it's trample. No, it doesn't trample. It doesn't trample. And he's only got three lands. He got only three... Oh, I see. We can't block we enough can't goblins? Block all, we can't block all five creatures. But we don't have to block all five. He can only do six damage and goblins to our face. That that kills us, I guess, is what you're saying. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's still lethal. Two plus two plus two puts us to two. Yeah. I mean, I guess technically we're not just dead. But I think we're, we're just... just that's just dead, aren't, isn't it? I think that's just dead. I mean, it probably is. Yeah. That's just dead. I mean, we can armor arbor armaments our uh two two for an extra mana next turn and play verdant force and maybe that'll be enough yeah to that's block. that's the plan that's why i put it where i did the blocks but so he puts us to one yeah All right, respond with our moments. Respond! He's targeting our creature. Oh, I didn't notice. Thanks. Yeah. I don't know why he didn't just remove one of our creatures before he attacked. Why is his enchantment not dead? Equipment only. Jesus Christ. Well, we can Ancient Animus this fucking dude. That doesn't actually help us. What? Are you talking about it doesn't help us? It kills it. I think we just... I, I understand that it kills it. I'm pretty sure it's better just playing the Verdant Force, though. Well, we have a chance to do that and not lose our mana source. What? Because otherwise we're sitting with a worm on the table at, at two life, and if we block the token with our worm, he can't. This it isn't. Dies. This isn't the commander. This is just the goblin. I understand. We're at three life. I understand that. He's got a candle. So this on is where three. We have three, seven, eight, nine. This is yeah, eight. Yeah, we can only cast one card. And I'm pretty sure Verdant Force is better than Animus, because we can. You Lock really with the worm oh, and the token on the five four. I mean, may, if you want to cast the ancient animus, you can go ahead and do it. I don't think it's right. Because then we're three he's going to remove our dude the next turn. Is, oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to remove it either way, right? Like. All right, fine. We can't attack. Yeah. The fact that Candle was interacting with our 3 3, it's a little bit awkward. Yeah, killing the shade would be fucking great here, chat. No doubt about it. I'm killing the shade puts us in a position where he's got a board, a removal on the board, and two spells in hand, and we have a card that we can't cast in our hand ever again. Or three cards in his hand, excuse me, because he draws for his turn. Like, that's like killing a shade is playing not to lose. But oh shit! No, 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 no! Position. Chat's right. Ancient. Oh, but we can't animus. Yeah, it makes our dude. No, no, no. And we would trade with the shade. Yes, yeah, but then it, but then it's four mana. And we can cast the virgin force because it's four mana instead of three. So we could have done both. Fuck! You cannot do both because everything in the ancient animus resolves as part of the same spell. Oh, because it kills the caster. Never, you're saying? Yeah, we can. Our guy would be dead before we. Could so this is token plus animus. worm. Yeah, this is token plus one. Okay. 
the creature would be dead before we had a chance to tap it for mana. So you can't you can't do things in the middle of spells resolving. Oh, you but can't. otherwise, yes, that would work. Okay, this is still fine. Doesn't trample. Yeah, I mean we're generating two tokens at every every one of his attack phases with the Verdant Force. So and now we can just draw or whatever and, and sack our Maya Maya or no no we don't kill his dude with our Verdant Force. Yeah, yeah, kill it with the Verdant Force. Yeah, we can just kill his dude with our Verdant Force and then we can start a uh, start attacking with the Verdant Force. Yeah, that's a good draw. Yeah, because it untaps the Verdant Force. Yep. Do we that attack with both? Against... I think we attack with both. Uh, because we do the Griffin Growth, I would attack with both. If I hadn't drawn the gear from growth, I probably wouldn't. This thing doesn't trample, right? Nope. He's just gonna block it with the token. Probably. Probably not blocking at all. No, oh, he is. It's a really good draw. Burden Force goes to one HP, so that's fine. Okay. He did that main phase on his turn. Okay. Yeah, he's he's looking for creatures. He's dead right now. Incoming land plus wizard's lightning and he just kills us. Yeah, right. Oh, how did Okay, I guess he's dead on board. Okay, sure. <laughs> what a fucking up and down. So we wouldn't... Okay, so explain to me why that doesn't work, Stewie. So, uh, Stewie, what happens with the... Um... So, okay, so... Okay, what's your question? Yeah, so talk to me about the res resolution of that. So here's what I see happening. So we cast the thing that gives him plus one, plus one. Yep. Then he fights him. Yep. So the fight and resolves both, before you fight. can tap him? You can't you can't do anything during the resolution of the spell, right? So when you target it, it's a it's a three three on the stack, and his dude's a five four, right? Yeah. Then when both of you pass priority, so the spell resolves, your creature gets the plus one plus one counter because it's a legend. Then the fight resolves, and then because they both have more damage marked on them because of their then their toughness, they're put into the graveyard as a stay state state based action you never have a chance to tap her for mana during the resolution of the spell hmm. you could either tap her for three or you could tap her for nothing because she'd be dead gotcha you can't ever tap her for four right there okay because it looked really good when the chat pointed that out and then i, I didn't notice it there and i'm like oh we just messed yeah, up but... i counted the mana it wasn't enough yeah no i counted the mana to do both short, as well so... But I, I was expecting then, I'm like, oh, but that generates one more mana, but it sounds like it doesn't actually because the guy no, would have died. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. If they had survived the, uh, if the legendary they, had survived the attack. survived the fight, yes. Okay. But yeah. it wasn't going to, so. Yeah. And that's the reason that I'm like, playing the Verdant Forest maybe loses us the game if he has, like, the right cards. But it puts us in a much better position to win the game yeah. than just trading our best creature for his creature and then having nothing on the board and a card in our hand, we can never, ever cast. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't have, wouldn't have been our best creature for trade. It wouldn't have been a trade because the worm killed the worm killed the shade, right? Because next turn, because that turn we chumped with the worm. So it would have been the worm killing the, the, uh, the shade for free with Animus. But then our board would have been worm and 3-3 uh, three, three elf versus token plus uh, candle. Three fresh to mark cards plus candle, yeah. Yeah. So that was the play that I was looking at. Verdant worked out okay, but uh, I don't know. So were you not thinking the worm was gonna survive? Is that why? I forgot that the worm existed as a target for Ancient Animus, to be completely honest. Okay, that explains why I you was, were yeah. so adamant about that play. I'm like, what are you talking about? We're gonna have a worm left over. Like, and yeah, yeah the just worm- Yeah, like, oh, I just, just killed the legend. I just wasn't even thinking about it. I didn't fine. realize it until you said it just now. Okay, that ex I, I couldn't figure out why you were so like, adamant like, on that play. I like skipped over that thought process. I still think playing the Verdant Force is better than, better though, but hey. I, mean, I can see where you're coming from. Hey, Mezbombs. Uh, I also enjoy having Sui for talking about this. It helps. I, I feel like it makes me a better player to listen and uh, to think through our plays. So we went first. We did not mull. We had three lands in hand. Opponent did not mull either. Um, opponent's playing birds. 
So we have Arbor well, at Armaments. Least we, at least we have the Arbor Armaments. Yep. Land is great there. Yeah, we want to just hit lands until we get our worm out. I hit worms and then we get our thorn element though out personally, but. Yeah, thorn elemental getting that out would be good. It's a ways off yet though. Yeah, no shit. It's not even terrible, it's a playable card. Yeah. And next turn I can start beating in with the Shepherd and the uh, the Sapherd and yeah. the Scout. Yeah, the Sapherd's gonna be a three three too, so that'll be nice. Yep. When am I still gonna go to the paper draft? Tonight is my first paper draft in twenty plus years. Kind of excited about it actually. Ooh, that'll be fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, so when you sit down, you uh, it's left, right, left for the pack order. You pick one, and you don't... I don't know if they're going to go over the etiquette or not, but, like, after you pick your card or whatever, make sure that there's only ever one pack between you and the person to the side of you, because sometimes people, like, stack up multiple packs in a row like that if they're going doing their picks quickly, hmm. and they'll get all fucked up. The order will get fucked up. You worried about a combat trick here? No, I just arm arm him. It's my guy in block. He's got the combat trick, whatever. You know, like, who gives a shit? If he's got it, he's got it. You know what I mean? Like, Do I get to bring the six pack? I don't think I'm allowed to bring beer to their, uh, to their establishment. Although, I'm definitely tempted. I feel like he's got indestructible right now. I mean, just the way he's it, behaving. He's it, right? Yeah. Oh, it's healing grace. Eh. It's the terrible one. Whatever, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, we don't get to kill the guy, but it's just one for I'm once. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of okay with trading our arbor uh, armaments for uh, a token and some yeah, yeah, some bad card in his hand. What? Did he target oh, it wrong? He targeted click, it wrong. Click on the card. What does that card say? No, it, it does. He tar He has to choose the targets better. He fucked it up. People fuck this card up all the time because it requires like three targets. You have to target the thing you're preventing. Like, yeah. No, he shouldn't have to target at all. He chooses the target that he wants to prevent the damage No, no, no. On. By a source of your choice. He prevents... He has to click on his guy first, then my guy. And if he double-clicks something else, like double-click... Anyways, he did it wrong. So he just lost he his dude. He, he misclicked. Like, he targets his creature, and then when the damage is being done, he chooses the source as the Yavimai Shepherd. He just fucked it up somehow. Yeah. Card fucks up everyone all the time, though. Um... It's probably just the way the game works in the actual client here. See, the worst part is I'd love to memorial to Unity because we can't play anything, but we can't play anything because of fucking lands. Uh, we can't memorial to Unity here. Yeah, I know. There's no, there's no way. Oh. Sure. Bye, Zappard. He's, he's kind of our weakest creature. I'm kind of okay with it. Oh, yeah. It doesn't even get to the second part of it. Like, he's going to be a little salty when... uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end of turn Land of War here. Sure. So. Make him think we're mana screwed too. Yeah. I'm okay with it. There's no way that he can like blow you out with it or anything. So. Have you ever cast the spell? The targeting on it's super clunky and awkward. Not not on this client. I've used it in real life. That's annoying as fuck. Bingo, bango, bongo. Yeah, exactly. He's still on three land, too. I think he's yep, excited he about Seal Away on that Chet Sapphire right now. I think he's probably regretting it pretty pretty intensely. Yeah. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be back in a second. Okay. Well, yeah, incoming Seal Away number two for sure. He's got it, he's got it. Rather that on my worm than my elemental. Nope, it's just 25 Voltaic Servants.
I think I'm doing that. Sapphire's not really relevant. Nor are these art. Maybe I save this for a blocker. That he thinks if he's racing me. I think I prefer that slightly. That's a pretty exciting deck he has going on there. Oh, he's all white. So I have a decision this turn between the broken bonding the seal away. I will get a 2-2 two, two and a 1-1, one, one, but I can't do anything to his board with that. And they both untap. I really like saving this to remove a blocker just, when we're racing. I would just I would just save it. We don't yeah. haven't seen a second color. Maybe he uses puts the O might make our promote your woman do an O4 or something. Yeah, the blue. Yep. Yep, yep. The 2-2 two, two and the 1-1 one, one don't really do anything because he's got so many 1-3s. I agree with that that thought. Okay. I like the idea of saving it for surprise removal. Okay. Yeah, right. So we get to block one of them, I guess? Yeah, it's because he can untap it. It just doesn't give a shit. No, I mean, I get it. I just, I don't know what the point of attacking with both of them there is. Because it's more annoying to, like, not untap them, I think. <laughs> if that makes any sense, like, they're super obnoxious. Maybe he's, maybe he's trying to kill our Lana or Scout or something with some... He is. He's, stuff, he wants yeah. to adamant will the Lana War Scout. Sure, dude. You got it. Yeah, I guess. There is the option of whether or not we want to use the memorial here. I don't think No, we I do. want my thorn elemental. Like any land or any creature any spell we draw is gonna be pretty decent here, so yeah. it's probably not. I absolutely it is do not to consider. Scott, that card's fine. It's yeah, not it's, good, it's not exciting, but it's fine. Bad creature is, is fine against this board, so Yes, my opponent doesn't have any mana. I don't know why he wanted to kill your 1-3 so much. I probably would have just saved that to block the worm for a turn. Maybe all of his cards are on 4 and he's expecting a land to do something. Maybe. Uh, my accent is from Minnesota. Southern Minnesota, like Minneapolis region. Although I don't know if I actually have an accent. Anytime I listen to myself talk, I'm like a recording or something. I just like think to myself, do I actually sound like fucking that? <laughs> Another Voltaic servant. All right. Dude, this kid's like, this kid's serving all, this kid's going to serve you up, dude. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so right, two bags. Good. I think I had lethal if he hadn't played this, right? Because there's one there. This is going to be four. It would have been 11, four, oh, one off lethal. It's too bad. But this is just a, a thorn elemental. I'm super excited about it. Let's swing in with yeah. the, war the worm first. I don't even mind trading the land of war for one of his one threes here. Mm, it's not giving the option. I mean, he has to have removal for thorn elemental or he's dead, right? So. Yep. And it can't be another seal away because we can untap it in response. <laughs> <laughs> sure dude pulls the voltaic back so we see what his deck wants to do it wants to be it, it might even be mono white yeah maybe so i think he's dead dead do i show broken bond here I guess no, can... let's, um, let's just 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 pump him, pump the gifted growth on the thorn elemental and kill him. Okay. There's no point in trying to be cute or anything. Show him extra our main boarded broken bond. Could be white blue artifacts. Could be. Okay, uh, we did see flying creatures pierce the sky. Seems like it'd be just fine versus fucking Corsair. Do we see a second flyer? I don't know if we want two in or not. So our um, armaments. The, uh, the dwarven guy flies sometimes. Yeah, he's got two. Dwarven guy doesn't fly sometimes. If he plays an artifact, doesn't he get flying? No, he gets plus one plus one. It's he that guy gets plus one plus one on historics and uh, he brings an artifact back from the graveyard to his hand when he's summoned. You're confusing him with the aerial engineer from M19. 
Yeah, probably am. So we don't have a Pierce the Sky. Oh, we do have a Pierce the Sky in the main deck. How much do we want another armor armament, another Pierce the Sky? What do we want? The big creatures seem good versus him. I'm not sure. Sent I mean, Sentinel does have some playable stuff versus what he's doing. I think our deck is probably just fine the way it is. Four twos don't seem like they're going to be very good versus his deck with all those Voltaics. Meh, whatever. They're really good with the helm. Yeah. They're like, they fit our curve, right? That's the only reason they're in the deck. Sure, you don't want one more way of pulling something out of the sky. I think two is okay. Technically, like, two and a half because of the protectors. I don't Look know. The Double, spiders. Pierce the sky. Double pierce the sky feels pretty awkward. All right. I mean, the, the one... I like, if you, don't have a, if you don't have a ton of targets for it, it feels pretty awkward. All right, I'm going to take an Arbor Armament. Sure. Just the one-one tokens on our two twos make the difference between whether or not we can attack into him. Yeah. All right. We don't know what he's playing yet. Could be mono white. He was land screwed pretty hard there, so we don't know. Uh, this seems totally good. Seems great. Zero moles for anybody. Lands are not even bad here. White green. Okay, so he's definitely land screwed last game. It's kind of annoying. Right on time, turn two. That would have been so good on turn one. We should have broken bonded for ramp here. Because this gives us one more. Really, I mean, that puts us at that puts us at five. It comes does the land come untapped or untapped? Untapped. Untapped. So, so that would have put us to. Well, what about this turn? We'll have three, four. It actually puts five. us at five. We can do broken bond plus shepherd, sapper. If we want to kill that thing, do we want to? I don't. I don't think we care about it at all. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm not convinced either. If we had like a card that we would ramp into in like, our hand, right? Like if we had a, if we had a card that we were trying to ramp into, I could see. But we're just playing sap herds right now, so I don't think it really we really care at all. Yeah. Might as well save it for something better. He's got to steal the way that we know about. Yep. He's white green. He might run enchantments, like Dub and I mean, Sarah's if he's wings. White green. He's probably got something in there, right? Yeah. So what is this? This is Selenasia or something? Selicina? Selencia. Selencia. It's like S-E-L-Y. There's like 14 N's in there. And some <laughs> U's and S's. Right. Okay. It's interesting. He's got the pump spell, so let's just be fine with Whatever. that. Yeah. He's got it. He's got it. All right. Well, certainly for half of a sap herd, like that's fine. Yeah. And his Whatever. turn, like I'm totally okay with that. Exactly. Like it's who gives a shit. If he wants to spend his spells to kill our fucking tutus, I think we're happy with it. Yep. Especially considering we have another two creatures in. I think he's just targeted yeah. wrong again. Yeah, don't don't sh 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 don't let him know. Don't say a word. You're good, man. You got this. Well played. Just blowing it. Come on. Come on. I think it's already targeted, too. I think what is that? This yeah, step, it's already it's targeted. Already it just prevented three to me, I think. Prevented, yeah, he's got our, our 2 2 as a shield on right <laughs> I bet he concedes off that. We'll Any see. Any source he chooses is going to get three damage prevented to our sap herd. I really. Oh, yeah. Oh, it has to choose a source too. So I guess I guess it's just a trade, but he loses an extra card. Maybe he'll adamant yeah. will it as well. Yes! <laughs> oh my god. That's Best turn so ever. Sweet. Best turn ever. That's such Ooh. a good card too. So we'll do it next turn. Play the blue yeah, this turn. Do that. Yeah, I like doing it next turn. We just play the sap herd this turn. Yep. Because that way we can play and draw in case he has removal for it. A little bit of value out of it for sure. So uh, we just got Adamant Will and Healing Grace for free and still got the trade. I guess the trade didn't go off, so. Yeah, we got, I mean, it was still a two for one for us, right? Yeah. He killed our 2-2 two -two for two combat tricks. Yep. Pretty nice. 
Yeah. Two for a half. We didn't lose one. We got the fucking sapperling out of it still. Yeah, we still got the sapperling sitting. Sapper is such a dick for never trading. He's better than he. Th this game, he's been better than a scholar. I'll give you that, Sui. Okay. Sure, dude. You have a three-five. Kill attack again. I hope so. <laughs> getting a little desperate if he's playing that with things in play. Yeah, I know it's player attack you know. <sighs> You think over the worm? Yeah, I yeah, so. I think so too. All right, get that get that card draw going right. It's not like he's putting immense pressure on us or anything. Nope. Okay. Got a fucking three five and a one three on the table. Like, oh, this is scary. Yes, it does have some janky ass targeting mechanics, like really bad. Yeah, Torrential Cure Hulk is really awkward too. Yep. Just this client isn't optimized super well. Well, it's it's not optimization issues. It's really the arrows aren't great, and then like the the way it dis discusses that aren't great either. Is he gonna bounce his one through? Maybe it's another tap on one of our creatures. Looks like he's thinking about it. I mean, it's not like he's got anything in his hand. Yeah, sure. We're just gonna take that, I think. So. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, let's play our land and draw a card and see what we get. Yep. Yeah. It's really hoping for a land there, actually. Then I could broken bonds, get another draw, another life, and kill the uh, guardians. So we've got six on board. I kind of don't mind just killing his 4-4 four, four anyway and casting yeah, Mariah. And, yep, exactly, to get the Verdant out sooner. That's yeah, how I feel start, about this hand, too. Verdant Force out pretty well. All right. I like attacking with a Chef Herder. I don't, because what do I block the 3-2 with? The 2-1-1s? One, sure. We don't need him. We've got a burden worse in our hand. Well, no, because he know we know he taps one of the one ones. No. And we take three. Like who gives no, a shit? Because the two doesn't matter. We're gonna either run the game over with burden force and the worm, or we're not. And if we're not, the, the two damage here isn't relevant. The, it's not even the seven seven is gonna do it. Although it's a pretty big one. Force, it's party time. Yeah, too bad we don't have to land, but I agree. It's been holding Blessed Light versus Tat Yoiba. It's crazy That's talk. That's so greedy. That's fucking crazy talk. Well, I guess we're gonna have to start shoving here because of that Pegasus. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna need to use the gift to go if the push through is three two, versus three five. Yep. I'll probably attack with the three two instead of the three five here if I was him, but he's crazy, so he's he's doing good moves for us. Okay. Seems like a good one. Yeah, that's a good draw. Uh, do we have the mana plan both? Five, we do. Yeah, I don't mind attacking with the Shaper. And... I think you attack with Tet Yoiva too, man. Yeah, probably both of them. I can't imagine he doesn't block Tet Yoiva. Right, but I'm okay. We have the mana to play growth. Are you worried about... six, seven, eight. We have eight mana right now, so... I guess yeah. we don't really want to play growth, though, do we? We want it on the Worms to be able to swing through that board. Yeah, okay. I kind of can get behind not playing that, just attacking with the 2-2. Two, two. He's going to block the 2-2 two, two with the 1-3, though. Let's play Spider and, and Sapperd. I mean, we're on a clock here, right? We're on a 2 No, we're not. We have a Spider. Look at a Spider. 
We just eat the Corsair. Spider's gonna get eaten. Then we'll save mana so it doesn't get eaten. Yeah, but all well, how is he gonna eat it? The Corsair's gonna eat it? Corsair's no, not gonna fucking eat it. No, he's just gonna draw another one of his stupid exile cards and I'm gonna be mad. Alright, well, I'm not playing around that. Not right now. It's fair. We gotta start shoving here at some point. Yeah, it's coming soon. It's coming as soon as that worm gets on the board. We got value off of Tatyana. We've got the uh, Tatyueva, rather. We've got the blockers for the air shit. He can yeah, top I mean, deck more removal. I guess you're not wrong. If he has a, another removal, he probably just uses it on Tatyueva anyway, or he's going to lose to it. Yeah, and the other thing is, too, I mean, I guess we were going to gift Tatyueva, but, like, we know he has seal, right? So we don't really want to be tapping with Tatyueva. Well, to... I mean, he was tapped out, so... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he can do it on his turn. But that's what I'm saying. We had the gift to yeah, do that. Yeah, but our Tatyueva would be untapped if he blocked, right? Yep. Yeah, I agree, Duran. That's what we talked about. I mean, we're playing the spider either way, right? It was just a matter of whether or not we attacked that turn or not. Yeah, that, that, I don't know what this attack is. I don't know. It's crazy town attack. Maybe it's invulnerability again? No. Nope. Okay. Oh, he just, he's just insane in the membrane. Sure. Okay. Sure. Seems good by me. That's a good one. How much mana do we have? Eight, Six, seven, eight. Yeah. I'm gonna worm and just call it a call it a turn. Yeah, seems fine. And we I'll... need to if we need to buff our mammoth spider, we can do that with our with our elves. Yeah. It's funny we how we attack with the Sarah Angel. We, we 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 block and then probably armor armaments our spider. Yeah, I try to decide what we do about that because right now, unfortunately, the arbor armaments. If he has plus two plus two in bone, it does kill us. I kind of wanted enough for gift yeah, to eat nah, the angel. No, we have we have enough for gift. We can just get plus two plus two, right? Make our dude a, a five seven, and yeah. if he has the plus yeah. two plus two, is yep, yep. six six. That is the better. So we just get this turn and yep. save the armaments in case our spider dies yep, for yep. another reach. What's he? He's got green recursion in this deck. Uh, the uh, nature spiral return a permanent. Yeah, it's just crazy though. But it's a permanent, so he, I guess he can get guardians and tap our spider. Is that what he's looking at? Oh, he doesn't have. He's got the tap dude out. It's a little bit scratchy. All okay. right, so we'll block with spider. Yep, and then get the growth. Well, not yet, right? Before damage. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean after we declare as a blocker, right? So. All right, seems good. I guess he wants to regrow his uh, angel. I don't think he wanted to regrow his angel. I think he thought we were tapped out and forgot about our elves, probably. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, that's another nice thing about holding arbors. It does get... <laughs> yeah, he's just like, whatever, we're Dude, done. Dude, imagine if you just tuned in and you watched only that play. Opponent attacks into you with a 4-4. Four, four, you block with 3-5. Growth it and he just quits. Like, no, like, secondary. That's funny. Just like, oh, fuck it. I'm done. Yeah. That's... Okay. It's, we did play Tatyoi, but we got the land the turn we played her, and then we never got any other lands again. No, we got the Memorial the turn after. Yeah, that's exactly right, Sal, because this dude was VR Raccoon. VR Coon. Alright, we, we got profit on this.